Well, fans of the Grammy Award winning duo Outkast can now stay in the studio where they recorded their very first songs. Outkast member Big Boy has teamed up with Airbnb to give fans a chance to stay at the dungeon. Big Boy joining me now live to talk about this iconic home. Big Boy, good morning to you. Thanks so much for being with us today. Hey, hey, how you doing? We are doing great. Okay, so let's just get right to it. What can fans expect during their stay there? Um, it's a once in a lifetime experience, you know, um, to kind of stay in the dungeon and, and live in the halls where we recorded the music. Um, it's a state of the art recording studio in there right now. And, you know, it's just minor touches like, you know, the stank only living room and the Waffle House wallpaper, uh, very adventurous. Yeah, absolutely. So this iconic Dungeon Family House, it's in Lakewood Heights in Southwest Atlanta, and it's really where you guys became outcast and the Dungeon Family started. So can you take me back to those beginning days in that house and just what it was like for all of you? Well, yeah, we were um, invited there by Rico Wade, uh, one of the founding members of Organized Noise. His mom, uh, Beatrice Wade, was gracious enough to let outcast Goody Ma, Big Rube, and the host of Dungeon Family members sleep on that floor right there in sleeping bags. You know, that sofa wasn't there. Um, we had some different kind of sofas, like some little raggedy sofas with nails hanging out, you know, where you had to get a tetanus shot or whatnot. Um, but, you know, it was very humble beginnings and the energy in the house is incredible. You look, looking back now, and you know, you, you, you mentioned that what you saw, is, is it hard to believe how far you've come and that's really where it all started for you? I mean, it's only by the grace of God that I'm here now. <laughs> My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, by the grace of God, he made it happen for me. Absolutely. And obviously that house must just hold so much special meaning for you guys. Uh, yes, absolutely, man. And to team up with Airbnb and, you know, for them to charge like $25 a night, uh, to commemorate the 25th anniversary of ATL is just coming up for three, um, uh, special guests. Um, they're going to have a good time. Yeah. OK, so also tell me why did like why did you want to open up to fans and guests just so that they would be able to get that experience and just get get just get to see behind the scenes kind of. Uh, well, when I first purchased the house, maybe two years ago, um, the first idea was like to have it as a museum. But, you know, at first I was like, well, I open it up to the people because people are like, oh, but they want to come. And I have like, you know, a security system over there. And I would always see people come with the kids and stand on the porch and take pictures. And I talk to them through the ring camera, like, get off my property. So <laughs> and I just know people would come and visit it. So I was like, OK, I'll open it up for a little bit to let them experience it before we seal it off and make it a museum. Yeah, absolutely. And not only will fans and guests be able to just be surrounded by all the history and greatness, but did I read correctly that they're even going to get a shot while staying there? Maybe recording their own tunes. Is that is that true? Oh yeah, absolutely. As the studio is in there um, with the microphone, the beat machine, the compressors, the speakers, and everything, so they can you know draw inspiration from the spirit of the house. Tell me one of your favorite memories from from that home, and maybe a couple of the biggest songs that that you guys had there. Um, well, the fondest memories are just writing music together with Goody Mob and Organized Noise. But, you know, we wrote our whole first album there and part of ATL. And so the whole Southern Playlist album was written in that house. You know what I mean? And I mean, the, the energy is impeccable. Well, thank you so much for doing this and sharing this with fans and guests. And I definitely want to come and check it out. And thank you again for just giving us some insight and spending your morning with us today. Appreciate it, man. Just let the people know me and Sleepy Brown got the album called The Big Sleepover. We're going to drop another bomb on y'all next week, July 2nd, and the album comes straight after that. You know what I'm talking about? Gio. I love it. All right, Big Boy, thanks so much. And bookings for the Dungeon, they open on Friday. Big Boy will host three overnight stays at the Dungeon on June 29th. Write this down, June 29th, July 1st, and July 3rd for only $25 a night. That is so cool. We got to go check it out.